What's up, guys? It's your boy, Barca Boy 103. We have some absolutely huge breaking news coming in, and that's Clement Longley to Aston Villa is a done deal. The French center back will join the Premier League side on a loan for the rest of the season. The other details are yet to be released, whether or not the percentage of the salary coverage will be covered. Uh, we know there won't be a buy option according to Tony Juan and Marty from Sport. But we did get the here we go from Robert Germano. It is completed. Longlet has said yes. Agreement between the two clubs. He's now traveling to England for his medicals and then the deal will proceed from there. Again, it is a loan, which is a very disappointing. From my point of view, we're going to have the same problem next summer, but it is what it is. I'm hoping the salary coverage from Barcelona is fairly low, if not nothing at all. I think Barcelona will probably cover around 10, 15 at worst case scenario, 20% like we did with Tottenham uh, last summer. I think last summer with Tottenham, we only covered 10%, so I'm expecting somewhere in the same region. But the most important thing is that we have gotten rid of Clermont Longley and his ridiculous salary. And it's a situation that dragged on a lot this summer and more importantly because Longlet was waiting for the best option. And you know what? Aston Villa came in last second. He moved and in the end, he looks the winner. If he left during the middle of the summer, he probably would have went to Saudi Arabia or maybe somewhere in France. But, you know, he waited his time. He took his time and now he got a good move to a side in the Premier League. They're going to be challenging for Europe, going to be playing in Europe as well. So... Fair enough to him, I think Longley walks away from the situation as an absolute winner. And Barcelona, they get what they want, they get rid of the players' wages, but they don't get rid of the players' uh, wages permanently, and also they are still paying part of it as well. It sucks that this situation will be coming back to bite us right in the backside next summer. Again, Longley's contract at Barcelona ends in 2026, so we have, not including this season, two other seasons to deal with this. The loan could be a two-year loan because, again, we were negotiating with Sevilla for a two-year loan, but I highly doubt Aston Villa will agree to a two-year loan deal. But for now, we have to survive another season without Clermont Longley. Again, the fact there is no buy option just shows that next summer he's going to come back and the same thing is going to happen. But it is what it is. We will uh, deal with it then, I suppose. And who knows? Longley may do well. Again, Aston Villa did sign him because they do have some injuries at the back. Tyro Minx is going to be out for a very long time. So it will be Pau Torres and um, Konza starting as a back partnership. And Longley will be the third choice. So, uh, and I think, uh, sorry, fourth choice. They do have Diego Carlos as well. So he comes in as, you know, someone who can push for those spots. And if someone gets injured or suspensions, of course, yellow cards are going to be flying a lot. Uh, this season so he could get in there and if he doesn't get in and get gets impressed then You never know again Aston Villa essentially signed Longlet because Monchi their sporting director was the one who signed Longlet initially To Sevilla so he does have some sort of faith and uh, belief in his ability So we did get lucky there But and of course I think Unai Emery is a uh, is someone who's been following Longlet for a long time even though he didn't coach him at Sevilla um, Although did he? He might have you know so again there is some sort of connection there that kind of got Longlet that move but in the end for Barcelona they got what they wanted now the question now is will there be other departures this summer we now have about 72 hours left of this transfer window I have a funny feeling that nothing else will happen but you never know so again Barcelona's main departure that they've been prioritizing over the past two weeks is now officially gone Longlet joins Aston Villa on a loan for the rest of the season no buy option for Aston Villa and we're yet to hear what the salary coverage on his wages is let me go check uh twitter right now maybe it has come out since i started recording <sighs> but uh, it's just i wish you took the letter of freedom man why can't you just take a letter of freedom and then sign for aston villa on a two-year deal i mean what is wrong with that it's the same situation same um same deal everything i just don't get it so it looks like nothing yet in terms of his Oh, Tony Juan Marti has said that Aston Villa will pay 75% of Longlet's salary. So Barcelona will cover 25%. So that's a bit more than what we did last season with um, um, with Tottenham. So that is a bit disappointing. We were negotiating with Sevilla. And I think we had to pay around... I think they only could have paid 30% then. But 25% is still a lot in my opinion. And I don't see this as really the best deal for Barcelona. I think, I think Longlet leaves this deal as the absolute winner <sighs> we're still covering 25 percent of a 16 million gross that's that's not that great man it really isn't <sighs> that's a bit annoying not too happy with that but you know what it is what it is it's 
25% is better than 100%. And I guess that's the uh, reality of the situation. So again, longest move is done. Initial loan deal, one season, no buy option. Aston Villa will cover 75% of his salary and Barcelona will pay 25%. And now we're going to sit here and hope that Longled does well. And that's, of course, as we all know, that's going to be very, very difficult because he is not that great. But you never know. Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the uh, the deal. Are you happy that Barcelona are paying 25% uh, of his salary? Would you have done anything differently? Would you have really, you know, honed out on everyone covering 100% of his salary? I think no club in the world was going to cover 100% of his salary, which is understandable and which is fine. But I was really hoping that Longlet, you know, would make a sacrifice on his side to leave Barcelona permanently or, you know, reduce his wages in some way, shape or form to make this, you know, situation not happen again. But he hasn't, you know, he's entitled to his money. Fair enough to him. Um, no really hard feelings towards him. It's about the other guy who gave him the contract. He who must not be named, but uh, paying 25% is a lot. That's more than we did last season with Tottenham. So it just shows that... Long let walks away from this as the he's laughing at us. <laughs> he really is. Anyways, again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the whole entire operation. Long let's move to Aston Villa. Do you think Long let will come back next summer? Do you think it will drag on as long as it has this summer, next summer as well? And what are your thoughts on the future of Long let? Of course, make sure you guys drop a like down below as well if you enjoyed this video. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below as well if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and Forza Barca.